We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. I have been here. The Grey Goose. Adventures of a Modern Robin Hood. And there I went again. Saw a friend off in a little island steamer, pulled a chap out of the drink at 11 p.m., only to find he was wreathed in chains. Then he told me he was chucked overboard from a small thousand-tonner, fortune finder, owned by a nice pair of assassins called Lomax and Kitson. After a very unpleasant night, chased by the said assassins, we found sanctuary with this engineer chap's girlfriend, Nancy. His name was Burns, by the way, and apparently he was a frogman in the war period. One day, he dived overboard from the fortune finder and swam under the hull. He was just about to tell me something of what he saw when a shot shattered the window of the cottage and down he went. Your hitman, duck under the windowsill. For heaven's sake, I'll douse the lights. So, listen, son, how bad is it? Oh, not bad at all. Flesh wound through the muscle of my arm. No great damage done. Good. I'll have a look at it when the air clears a bit. Oh, Dick. What was the shooting? I heard it in the kitchen. Are you hurt? Take it easy, Nancy, and bob down under the windowsill. There are some trigger-happy loons out there. Oh, Dick, are you hurt? Oh, yes, a wee bit, Nancy, but nothing serious. I can do it if we get a light on the scene. No hurry. That shot came from our friends Lomax and Kitson. Yes, must have heard what I was telling you. You'd only got to the point where you dived under the hull of the fortune finder. You were about to tell me what you saw when... Bang went the gun. It appears Lomax and Kitson trailed us after all. Which is not so good. Do keep down, Nancy girl. He's not bleeding to death. Sorry, sir, but I... I understand perfectly, but with those jokers in this kind of mood, anything may happen. So take no risks. Anyone else in the house? No, mother's out. Staying with my sister until tomorrow morning. My dear, it is tomorrow morning. Now, if you have any bandages, we'll fix up Dick Burns temporarily. There's some old sheets in the kitchen cupboard. I'll go and get them. All right, but don't put any lights on. Those gentry with the guns are not apparently very selective. I'll be careful. See you in a moment. Now, Burns, how do you feel? Oh, not bad. They just nicked me. Bad shooting, as far as I can guess. All right, now take it easy till Nancy gets back with the bandages. Mm. I was uh, just about to tell you what I saw when I dived into the hull of the fortune finder. That's right. Then they shot at the psychological moment. I think we're safe now, though. The way you keeled over would make them think they'd kill you. Do you care to go on with your story? Mm, Of course. Well, while I was down below, I had a good glimpse of the keel. And stuck beneath the waterline were limpets. Limpet? I get you. Steel limpets. Yes. Not the marine growth that a ship collects. Steel limpets. That's what we call them in the war. The frogmen used to attach the magnetized boxes or limpets to the hull of a ship. And when the setting clockwork inside reached the point, bang, they went and hauled the ship. But they wouldn't want to sink the fortune finder, surely? No. No, I don't think so. Those limpets might not have had any explosive in them. Then what? They might have goods in them. Very small, of course. Contraband. That's right. Opium, cigarettes, perfume, anything. Burns, I think you've got it. How many of these uh, limpets did you see, roughly? Oh, it could have been a hundred, maybe more. My, 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 friend Burns. I'm very anxious to examine one of your limpets. The point is, how do we get one? Well, if my arm isn't too bad, I'll put my frog outfit on and get one. 
What about it? You'll have to wait until your arm is quite right. <laughs> what was that? Only a door bank. <laughs> My hat, that was Nancy. Confound us for a couple of damn fools. They've come in the back way and got the girl. Help me, Fletcher. I'm going to start a bit of murder. We've got the girl, Burns. We've taken her off to the ship. And if you and your pal care to follow and come aboard, we let the girl go. She says you're not hurt very badly. Well, what about it? I'm coming, now! Don't be an idiot, they'll shoot you down and Nancy will be no better off. But I can't let them take Nancy just like that. You can, and don't be a darned impulsive fool. It isn't Nancy they want, it's you, because of what they've discovered. And you, and possibly me, because by now they'll guess you've told me all you know. Uh, all right, I'll go. And they'll let Nancy get away. Oh, such stupid stuff our heroes made. Listen, friend Burns, even if you do go, and they bump you off and they'll silence you... Do you think they'll let the girl go? Who'd have enough evidence to hang them for your murder? And possibly mine. Incidentally, the latter contingency doesn't appeal to me one little bit. You're doing a lot of talking. I can only think of Nancy in the hands of those darn crooks. And I'm thinking of her too. That's why I'm advising you to let me handle this my way. Very well. What's the scheme? I have a particular friend at Scotland Yard. Police? Well, they'll use up so much red tape in so much time that... Lomax and Kitson will be at the North Pole before they can move. Oh, no fear. Now listen, you young idiot. You've been shot at and wounded by two people we know. Ben Ford will be interested. Who's he? Inspector Ebenezer Ford. He and his men, acting on information received, will rally the water police to go aboard the jolly old schooner, lugger or what have you, and arrest our friends Lomax and Kitson on a shooting charge. Now, by the wee, as my old French nanny used to say. That's Scots. Remember, I'm Scottish. By the way, he's not French. <laughs> I'm glad to see your IQ's working. Now, to get a bit of shut-eye and a rest. Come morning and we'll see Ben Ford. But the girl, Nancy. I tell you, she's in no danger yet. She's the bait to bring you aboard. Now, shut up. Now, there's the story, Ben. It's a shooting affair, and I'm hoping you're interested. Oh, I am, I am. Now, let me get it straight. You pulled this chap Burns out of the drink, all chained up and ready to drown. Check. Then two men chased you over the wharves and one cost you. Oh, so true. You feel my bumps. Hmm. Then they took you to an old storehouse on the wharf and beat the blazes out of you. The answer is nearly in the infirmary. Eh? Oh, sorry, Ben. I accept your apology. I remember you cracking that one at the junior school concert 30 years ago. <laughs> Quite right. I wrote that script myself. Right, oh, joke over. Then this bloke you'd rescued turned up and rescued you. That so? Stout fellow and all that. Very plucky, I must say. Then he took you to a little house in Stepney where his lady love nursed you back to health and strength in a matter of an hour or two. Aided by some warm blankets, hot water bottles and, um, <clears throat> a little rum. Funny thing, Fletcher, this story is so queer that I begin to feel it's inspired by the rum. Oh, that's your rotten joke. Hmm. It makes me still one up on you. Now, listen, Ben. This is the real Mackay. All right. The boy Burns tells you a yarn, which you haven't yet repeated to me. Why? Can we leave that just for a moment? Well, only for a moment. Then, at the psychological moment, just as he's going to tell you uh, a uh, who done it, Burns is shot. What did he tell you later? That also is censored, Ben, old man. There's more in this than meets the eye. I assure you, Burns was shot. Fortunately, not dangerously. But come along to the cottage with me and I'll prove it. Lord help you, Fletcher, if this is a stunt. Go on, tell me more. Thanks, Ben. I have a feeling that some of this is not exactly your department, but the shooting part is. That most certainly is. Now, go ahead. All right. Now, with Burns, I'm going to follow a certain line of investigation. You leave that to the police. Definitely. But, Ben, you've been very sceptical about my story. So I'm asking you for a few hours' grace after which I shall buzz you on the phone, and by the time you arrive with your cohorts, I shall hand you an apple pie. I, I can't accept that, Fletcher. All right. <laughs> I'll have to work without you. You can't do that. I won't, won't permit it. How can you stop me? I've done nothing. You don't know the scene of operations unless I tell you. So what? All right. Seems I've no option. I'll give you 12 hours. Shan't want 12 hours, much less than that. And at zero hour, I shall ring you, which will mean action stations. Oh, well, Ben, uh, you might incidentally warn customs at Stepney if they see anything untoward. Tell them to go move on. 
just by the wee. Yes, Inspector. Tell Capel to follow the gentleman who's just left my room. Very good, sir. How is that kind, Ben? But I shall not go further than your very shabby front hall. Sit down and muse all day if you carry out this idea. Capel. Yes, sir. Cancel that follow I just ordered. Yes, sir. And uh, send for a carpenter. I want my door soundproofed. <laughs> Satisfied, Fletcher? Thank you, Inspector. <laughs> now back to Nancy's cottage and Master Burns. Who's that? Fletcher, open up. Good heavens! What's the get-up? Frogman kit. Always kept the outfit at Nancy's. And what's the idea of wearing it in the house? Listen, Mr. Fletcher. I've got a boat already, and I intend going under the fortune finder tonight. And I'll drag one of the limpets off her somehow. It might be a good idea, after all. You row me out. But what about your arm? Certainly I'll row you out, but I'm a bit worried about your arm. Anyway, don't you want to hear first how I got on at Scotland Yard? Oh, my arm's all right. Nothing to it. But what about Nancy? Don't worry too much about her. My friend Inspector Ford is standing by, and on a word from me, he'll pounce. Nancy will be all right. Now, shall we go? My heaven, I hope we don't meet anyone. You look gruesome. Nearly there. When I go overboard, make for the stern and grab your hook onto the anchor chain. Right. Say when. About here, I think. I don't want to get too close in case there's one of them on watch. Uh, backwater now. Yes, this'll do. Over I go. And don't forget, row astern. Oh, my head. Too much splash, I fear. Boat ahoy! Kitchen, search my quick. We've got visitors. Right. Open fire if you have to. I certainly will. My friend, we now have our searchlight right on you. True, you have. Very disconcerting it is, too. Companionway is down. Row towards it, please. Follow the light, Kitson. Got him like a moth in a candle flame. Come on, you. I'd rather row under the stern, you know. Come on, or else. Here's just a warning. <laughs> Next time I fire, I'll sink you. Come aboard. Under the circumstances, I'll accept the invitation. What ship is that? Police launch. Fortune finder! What's the shooting about? Someone ashore, I think. All well with you? All well. All very well, thanks. It just seems impossible for Fletcher to keep out of trouble. However, there's always hope and a lot of guile in the heart of the Grey Goose. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just $2.79. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. ba da ba ba, -ba. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.